Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another Scribble Battle episode. This is where we will pit two individual teams of creations from my ScribbleNauts creation series against each other in combat, just as I had previously made them. Today's epic matchup will be between Team Marvel versus Team Pokemon. Team Marvel will consist of the Incredible Hulk, Team Groot, Venom, and Black Widow. Team Pokemon will consist of Pikachu, Necrozma, Gumi, and Onyx. Both teams could consist of lots of characters, so that's definitely acknowledged, but these are the ones we've landed on and we've applied adjectives to each one of these opponents here on the level ready for battle so that they will of course be hostile and attack once we remove these walls. So let's do this! Round 1 all right, so round one is basically just an all-out free-for-all. Check this out, Onyx and Black Widow already going at it. Gumi already down. Teen Groot with some crazy power there. And, of course, Venom helping. And then Pikachu goes down. Venom looking for the head of Pikachu to take out. It looks like Onyx and Necrozma are the only ones left for Team Pokemon. And, my God, Necrozma wasn't even brave. We left an adjective off of that one, didn't we? And that means Onyx is now down, ladies and gentlemen, because we just saw him go down. Necrozma putting up, actually, a fight against Team Groot, who did take take down Pikachu pretty easily, but no, he's not able to hang on. So look at this team, Marvel, with all of their members in the first round, really making that a clean sweep victory. But anything can happen in round two, where we will see individual battles take place. So let's do that and see what happens. Round two. Fight. All right, so we've got Venom going up against Necrozma here. <laughs> Venom is all like, ah, let me at him, let me at him. Ah, I gotta eat that head. Because, yes, our Venom is scripted to, of course, eat the heads of whatever characters he defeats. So you can see, of course, once this wall goes down, these two will actually be perfectly ready to fight. So there we go. The wall has been lifted, ladies and gentlemen. Venom coming out strong with a melee game. It looks like, though, Necrozma does have that range advantage, and that uh, is exactly what Necrozma needs to win, I believe, because Venom... Very, very powerful once he can get that hit. Venom does have a little bit of range after being attacked. The way that we scripted him is he actually shoots out a long black bullet that's supposed to imply one of the appendages or limbs, basically, that he fires off right there. This is actually a battle coming down to the last two hearts. They basically each have one and a half hearts. We're going to see. This is really down to the wire, folks. So let's find out who is going to be victorious in this battle. And of course, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Now they are down to their last heart. And Necrozma taking a a little bit more damage, but keeping Venom down with that shock. Boom! Necrozma turns it around. That is a victory for Team Pokemon right there. Just as I was saying before, anything can happen in those individual battles. That was a very, very close matchup between Necrozma and Venom. I like seriously, let me check this. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna bring Okay, I just completely missed like an idiot. But I think Necrozma was one hit away. Yep, that gunshot, that was that one hit. So you know who wins that one actually? Team Kendo. I kid, I kid. So for the next round two matchup, we're gonna go with Black Widow against Pikachu right here. Now, Pikachu, of course, having that range advantage as well. Uh, Black Widow is very skilled as an assassin, as a fighter, though. Uh, so certainly, and <laughs> you never know, it's like human beings, of course, on the Pokemon anime get shocked like crazy and don't actually die. Even if they get blasted off again or something else, Pikachu actually taking a ton of damage. I think that they are mostly actually, I would say, somewhat evenly matched until I just noticed this, because actually, Pikachu is now down. Black Widow gonna to take that victory, but the electricity actually was making Black Widow be stunned for just a small bit of time. Okay, this was also something else I wanted to do. It's not going to help uh, the battle like any advantages or whatever, but with Onyx, we did want to apply an adjective to make him a little bit bigger, just because the way that we created him was a far different time, basically, than when we created the Hulk, for example, who he's going up against right here. So this actually should be quite a matchup with Onyx versus the Hulk. I think in real, you know, if you put these two in their universes together and uh, put it in some universe where they would battle each other not scribble knots but like actual quote unquote real life we'll say I think this is what would happen because the Hulk has taken down some really large enemies and so Onyx just gonna be another one of those because Onyx is down to that last heart and yep kablamo it looks like Hulk gets that final hit in and the incredible Hulk is gonna be victorious there against Onyx team Pokemon not doing so well and to be honest I'm kind of finding out that uh <laughs> I, we're, we're pretty sure we're gonna know what's gonna happen here with team Groot against Goo 
Gumi, oh my gosh. Here, we need to get better with the adjectives. I'll put a new Gumi down that's brave right there. And so then, Gumi, of course, having that range advantage. Although, if this was the universe of Teen Gumi, it just could blam a one hit. I was going to say, if this was the Marvel Cinematic Universe, of course, Teen Groot could extend those branches way off and just stab Gumi from afar. But uh, here in Scribble Knots, we, uh, we don't really have that capability. Or we at least didn't script my Teen Groot with that. So look on screen right here for a substitution. We're going to need some help. I, I, I'm going to give Team Pokemon a little bit of help because otherwise I think that this would just be absolute slaughter right there. Gumi not even close to being able to take down Team Groot. Venusaur, though, is our substitution. Venusaur cannot do it, but was very, very close. We were down to that final heart on both contenders. So no, Venusaur not able to help Team Pokemon out as well to get at least another victory in on that. This might be one of the least close Scribble Knots battles we've ever seen in this series so far. We've had lots of contenders battle each other from a Bendy and the Ink Machine team against either Cuphead or Deltarune or FNAF, and we've also had platform characters going up against horror characters, so definitely check those videos out for some closer matches, but ladies and gentlemen, it is not over until it's over because we have round three where we will now pit the champions of each team together and see who would be victorious. So it was a tough choice between the Incredible Hulk or Teen Groot, but we saw Teen Groot just rocking it against his opponents, and uh, Necrozma, of course, getting the wins for the Pokemon team right here. So, of course, we'll lift this wall that's on the level, and uh, obviously then make our characters get into a battle right here. So Necrozma keeping Teen Groot at bay for a little bit, but Teen Groot now up in the face of Necrozma right here. Can Necrozma change the fate of Team Pokemon by getting some victories in this last round? It actually does look very good. Although when Teen Groot comes in for the hits, they are powerful, they are mighty. Teen Groot, Necrozma down to the last heart, no! Necrozma is the one that is out, and the head so brutal it falls all the way down to the pits below. My god. But of course, this would not be a championship round without a best two out of three, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see who is going to win this next round. If Teen Groot defeats Necrozma, then that's going to be a best two out of three victory. But no, Necrozma is keeping Teen Groot at bay again with that ranged attack. Necrozma does have a special script for when it loses or gains health. It can stun with that lightning right there. Teen Groot down to that last heart. And yes, Necrozma was also down to that last heart. But we are going into the last round of this best two out of three. Somebody's got to win. Unless, of course, they were to both somehow KO each other at the exact same time. But here it goes. We're going to see what happens. All right, so we got Teen Groot up on the field. The Necrozma, they're going at it. Necrozma doing that range damage as he always does. Teen Groot coming in for that punch. No, he actually cannot get it. Reaching out for nothing. Okay, he does hit him once. And then he does get two hits in. But it looks like actually Teen Groot going to fall. Necrozma almost was it. I was surprised. He was almost just down to that last heart. So he was one little just smizzing away. Did I just make up a word? Was I trying to say smidgen? Anyway, I'm sick. I don't know if you guys could hear that in my voice, my god. But anyway, that was a crazy, crazy victory for Necrozma. Gonna take it all in round three, ladies and gentlemen. So let's count up the victories, how many KOs there were, and all of that for each team. So in round one, it was a clean sweep, of course, with Team Marvel winning the whole kit and caboodle as none of the Pokemon team could take down even one when it was an all-out free-for-all. Round two going a little bit differently with Necrozma taking the win over its opponent, Venom, giving Team Pokemon one point there. Then after that, of course, Black Widow victorious over Pikachu for Team Pokemon, giving Team Marvel yet another tally. The next battle for round two was the Incredible Hulk versus Onyx, in which Hulk is going to add another point for Team Marvel with that victory. And lastly, in round two, Team Groot winning over not only just Gumi, but even the Venusaur substitution. We're going to go ahead and count that as one point, since Gumi was absolutely just no match, it would seem, for Teen Groot. And so, of course, in the final round, after really a hard-fought victory, Teen Groot wins one match, but then Necrozma taking the best two out of three with two victories over Teen Groot, and that last one really being quite an amazing victory, very close. So we're putting the tally up for Team Pokemon there. But of course, I'd like to turn this over to you guys now and ask you, which team do you think would win if these two universes actually got to battle it out, not in Scribblenauts here? 
But of course, I do need anybody who wants to complain in the comments, uh, ultimately to remember, these are Scribblenauts battles, not actual battles in the respective universes of each of these games or movies. So that's first of note, there would be different variables otherwise. But also, these videos are never a statement about which franchise is better than the other one or more awesome or whatever. So leave your opinions in the comments while I say all of these characters, of course, were created on my channel in my usual Scribblenauts creation series uploaded every Sunday. So just real quick, we'll give out the episode numbers here and in the description for each of the characters. Our Incredible Hulk creation was made in episode 281. Teen Groot was made in episode 292. Venom in episode 299, unless you wanted to see the original Venom from years ago, which was 112. And the Black Widow creation was in episode 276. On the Pokemon side, we made Pikachu in episode 305. Our Necrozma creation was done in episode 265. Gumi was in episode 277. And Onyx doesn't really have a tutorial creation episode, but was showcased first in the Waluigi creation episode 296. So again, I really want to thank you guys for viewing this. If you're at PAX South, that's where I am right now. We got a new creation video coming up next Sunday. So leave your requests on who should be created in this game. And we'll also be reviewing, or at least showing off, your creations based on your submission to the Discord, so of course the link to the Discord server is in the description, and I will catch you guys on the next vid, and thanks for viewing. Widespread panic, everybody jump ship, it's my Titanic life, about to slip, after I feel like I got it going on, the fog starts to lift, but it's